Squid Headed a Whale. Hi, we're Becca and Joel. We've traveled all the way from Canada in our trusty van, Popple. You're in for a treat with today's video as we take you along with us on a whale tour in the Baja. Now we got the inspiration for this tour from our Canadian found friend Tom, whom we just happened to pass on the streets in Todos Santos. We were just driving down the road in Todos Santos today and I looked over and there's this little guy on a bicycle <laughs> driving along and I'm like, that looks so much like Tom Stoltz. But then we're like, no, it couldn't be Tom. We're in Mexico, what on earth? But anyways, so. Let's take a look at who we found here in Todos Santos. Look for ice cream. Very good. Little video on the street <laughs> that you're sitting to on. Tom. It's great to see you, Tom. You too. You guys see your travels. Um, a fan. Yeah, fan. Uh, is the other thing closed? The uh, skylight? Skylight's closed. I don't think I can get through here. You can't still try. We had been seeing whales spouting off in the ocean from the beach, but I wanted a much closer look, and Joel is just too talented at speaking whale to miss an opportunity of connecting more intimately. Oh, I saw it! Look. So it was time to hit the road and find the perfect tour. Before play, there's van life chores. The trash, aka the black garbage bag from our soiled compost from our nature heads toilet, needed an eviction notice from our van. Not a task for the faint of heart. Baño es listo. Sí. But before you can say boo, we're back on the road. Despite the Baja being we on the world map, it can take a few hours getting from one spot to the next. And Joel often gets cramped and needs a stretch. I don't mind. He's pretty dapper a look from my eye candy. This morning, we are going to go see some whales. You probably can't tell that it's a bit hazy in here, but Joel turned on the furnace real quick, just because it was like cold in here, and all of a sudden started filling up with this fumes, and it got really hazy in here, and then our carbon alarm went off, so we nearly got carbon poisoning this morning. I guess it's still poisoning us. <laughs> Stupid cheap Chinese diesel heaters. Do not recommend. He said it's going to be cold. It's going to be wet. All the things. So I am getting really prepared because if there's one thing that a Canadian knows how to do, it's how to dress. No, but I'm getting concerned. What time is it? We have like, we have to leave here in at 7.15. What time is it? I don't know. Where's my phone? I have it. Come on, get ready. I'm working on it, okay? 
Since I spent time looking for my phone and you've already snafu'd it. What's this? You just say maybe. What do you see over there? Huh? I'm trying to see something. I don't but 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 do I, do I not see anything? Hmm. I'm looking maybe the maybe around the corner, maybe. Okay. Just so you know, there are things that you prep for and things that you don't prep for, and this is one of the things you have to prep for, and you don't know what the outcome is. Okay? Oh, the outcome is. Now we have an hour to just wait till we wait. Last night we were gonna come here at 7.30, because the guy told us to come at 8 for the whale watching, but we wanted to get here a little bit earlier, you know. So, wake up this morning and all of a sudden the time's changed. Now the time we get here is 7.15. You can hear Joel complaining about me to you guys. But then, I'm getting ready, I do my little morning exercise, and all of a sudden, go, 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 we have to go, we have to go. Now, we're here, and it's 7 o'clock. So, we're here an hour early, not a soul in sight, but... Guess we gotta chill, just in case. Didn't want to miss it, so. It's not even like a bad thing that we're that early because guess what? We get to see a gorgeous sunrise. Who would say no to that? I guess there's a little bonus. As you can see behind me, there's a little rainbow. So that's nice. She's so scared of missing it. Had to run to the bathroom, but I think she's gonna make it back in time. For you. I did indeed. This one? Yeah. Ready, baby? Oh, gracias. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you think they ever flip a boat? He's like right underneath us right now. You can hear him. <laughs> He's pushing us along. I was more than a little petrified at the thought of a whale tipping the boat cause your girl can't swim. Amazingly, despite their large form and power, the gray whales that came to check us out were exceedingly gentle and more curious than we were. I think I found my new favorite animal. Ha ha ha!
I petted a whale. <laughs> like, I don't think of whales as being pets, but... <laughs> it was incredible. Incredible. Okay, I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. They're so big. Yeah, exceeded our expectations. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know what to say. We still cannot stop talking about the fact that we literally got to pet whales. This <laughs> is like, what a cool experience it that was. was. So Thank you so much for coming along with us this week. We can't wait to share our next adventure with you, so make sure to subscribe and we'll be seeing you in our next video.